Hey, welcome to the new movie thing show. My name is Philip DeFranco. And I'm Steve Zaragoza. And tonight we watch the midnight release of Snow White and the Huntsman. Yeah, I guess we did. This is the live action version of Snow White, but in a twist to the fairy tale, the Huntsman is ordered to take Snow White into the woods to be killed, but he winds up becoming her protector and mentor in a quest to vanquish the evil queen Charlize Theron, who's beautiful. Also dwarves. And a quickie review, if you're running to the theater right now, you don't have a time uh, to watch this video or anything, because apparently you're just so busy, is it's an okay movie. Who are you frantic people out there that are running to the theater right now? What do I see? <laughs> if only Philip and Franco would just get yeah, to the point. Yeah, exactly. And mine would be, I wish we had seen Piranha 3 Double D. And with the cast, you have like Kristen Stewart, who I thought uh, did look pretty, but uh, I just, I just, I want to like her, but I really, just, I don't. I don't particularly like her either, but I didn't think she was Kristen Stewarting through the film. No, no, no. There she was, was actually, no. Yeah, she had a little more range this time. Yeah, I think she's breaking out of the box of, and moving to, and. <laughs> and I saw some smiles! And then we have Chris Hemsworth who played Thor, and I thought that he pretty much was being Chris Hemsworth. I mean, he didn't really. <laughs> just to say, say something. He played Thor in a different movie. <laughs> <laughs> he played the Huntsman. Wait a minute, he wasn't Thor in this movie? Some people did say that it was essentially him playing dirty Thor with less powers. <laughs> um, which I could kind of see, but he was good. He was, he was, a, he was, yeah. a, he acted his role out and I thought he did a good job. I have only seen him in a couple of films, but I yeah. think Chris Hemsworth is actually shaping up to be a fantastic actor. He was okay in Avengers. He was, he was really good in a Cabin in the Woods. Though. Oh yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. which I'm was fantastic. But, uh. Let's move on. And that is because we must talk about Charlize Theron. We must. Thera Theron. Theron. Is it Theron? Essentially the woman that holds the movie together with her amazingness. She's actually, I, feel, I felt like she did such a good job. She was more relatable as a character than Kristen Stewart as Snow White, the main, the hero. I agree, the movie shouldn't have been called Snow White and the Huntsman, it should have been called The Evil Queen Who's Awesome. Boom, yeah. I'm sold. <laughs> yeah, me too. And then you have this guy named Will who uh, shoots bows and arrows really well. Essentially, a Legolas light. Yeah, he's very Legolas light. Yeah, he's like, I'm so fast, but I don't have pointy ears. Also, I kiss girls who, who are dead. Uh, I have nothing to say about this Will guy. Honestly, <laughs> I, I couldn't, really differentiate him from the other fighting dudes. But I really enjoyed the dwarves, which yes. I thought were initially creepy as hell because they're all normal sized actors that they have, I think they just put their heads on their top heads of yeah, little probably. people. It's very jarring. There was a lot of character actors in there, dudes you've seen in other movies. Well, yeah, the, the Shaun of the Dead one was the one that threw me. Nick Frost, yeah. I know, you can't even, I guess you don't see him in the trailer. No. I didn't notice him in the no. trailer. So he's kind of a surprise, I guess, but he's kind of funny and I thought he did a pretty good job. No, yeah, the dwarves were, the dwarves yeah, the, the were dwarves. fantastic. The dwarves. <laughs> it, I mean, the acting was, not very balanced, right. but but the visuals and even the cinematography were pretty great. Like it was a visually pleasing film, but yeah. again, it's just stuff we've seen already. And in fact, we even talked about in the theater where there's the totally the rip off Lord of the Rings shot, the helicopter shot where the dwarves are walking on the mountain. We both looked at each other and were like, Lord of the Rings, come yeah. on, yeah. right? And guys, with that, it brings us to love it. Oh, hate it. <laughs> It's an apple that I'm eating. Whoa, like this movie we saw. <laughs> oh, I spit in my hand. And my love it would be a toss up between uh, the creature creation, specifically uh, the happy and the freak out scene, or the evil queen, just because the evil queen is played out so, so well. And I think that's what makes everything else look so bad. And so my hate it would probably be uh, everything else. <laughs> Well, my love it or hate it is actually gonna mirror yours completely okay, because yeah, yeah. I did like the creatures a lot, but I also thought the dwarves were cool. And my hate it would probably be, again, like kind of everything else. I mean, it's just, I know I've said this, but it's just stuff we've seen before. It's helicopter shots from Lord of the Rings. It's freaking arrows shooting from the sky in all the movies we've seen. And it's the girl in armor, and it's the evil lady, and it's the freaking hero's journey. And it's also the, the, the most expedited like fucking plot. Ever. Yeah, yeah. Like the, the fucking, the, the <laughs> castle breach is a minute and a half. Yeah, it really is. Even though it's in, in the trailer, it makes you think there's gonna be this big epic battle yeah. or whatever. It's literally like two minutes long. So something you could say in like one of these movies where there is a big battle, like, Lord of the Rings. Yeah, there was a lot of buildup, but then the fucking like fight was like 30 minutes. Yeah, and really like, worth the, the buildup. But it does come down to the part where we review stuff 
Uh, you do Ewok hug? I do, and you know what? This is gonna be a first, but I will not hug this movie. This movie gets zero Ewok hugs. Zero? Yeah, I didn't even know if it's possible. I don't what? know what kind of graphic you put up here uh, with zero I'm, I'm hugs. Gonna, I'm gonna hold him to four Ewok hugs <laughs> on the dictator for fucking ever. My rating system's different. It's either a full price, matinee, uh, rental, nothing, or uh, as Steve says, pirate bay. I'm gonna put this in between a, um, uh, it's a hard, maybe matinee? <laughs> uh, what about a sneak in? Can we say that? A sneak in to a rental. Right? Pay for a movie you liked and saw the weekend before and yeah. sneak into because, this one. Because, because even though uh, the other movies that are getting released this week, uh, mainly Piranha 3, Double D, uh, getting ripped apart by critics, I felt like the entire time I just kept, like I felt like I was, I was on a date with a really boring girl. <laughs> And I was like, but I got this slutty chick that may not have like a lot of, of substance, but at least I'm gonna have a good time. Yeah, and she might put out. Okay, you know what? Like, okay, so maybe I'll take back my zero hugs and I'll give it an awkward Ewok hug, which would basically be something like this. Yeah. Hey guys, that's it for the new Movie Think Show. My name's Philip DeFranco. And I'm Kristen Stewart. I can't smile. I want the dude to kiss me when I'm dead. Oh, it's so hot that you're dead. Ugh. Twilight. <laughs>